All right, so before we can move on, we need to learn a little bit more about our Earth. So our planet is made up of these large uh, slabs of rock, basically, and these are called tectonic plates. And um, these plates move and they shift and collide with one another, and this is what causes an earthquake. And um, the boundaries, the plate boundaries, um, are also known as fault lines, so keep that in mind for later. So as these plates move, they release energy, and when that energy is greater than the strength of the rocks itself, or the plates um, themselves, the rocks basically just break apart, and the earth moves to fill that void and that, that gap left by the plates. Um, and this can either be so slight that you can't really feel it, or it can be crazy and um, honestly end up being a catastrophe. Earthquakes are measured by the amount of energy that they release, and so scientists have created this really cool system called the Richter Scale, which is um, how uh, earthquakes are measured. And in 1960, the strongest earthquake ever recorded was shown as a 9.5 on the Richter Scale. And earthquakes can be both on land or underwater, um, or essentially just anywhere where there is a fault line. And although they can be anywhere, um, the vast majority of them do tend to occur along the Pacific Ring of Fire. And um, scientists have not, unfortunately, um, developed the technology that will allow us to accurately predict the timing and location of earthquakes. And because of this, these catastrophes strike and lots of people are caught unprepared. And um, this can lead to devastating loss of life and property. Um, so earthquakes and volcanoes can be violent and lead to death and destruction and are just a crazy act of mother nature. So these are a couple of the immediate effects, um, though they do have some pretty crazy long-term effects. Um, for example, ecosystems can be altered forever, like um, the eruption at Mount St. Helens, the volcanic eruption at Mount St. Helens, um, ash spread. Um, over many, many miles and affected the ecosystems and animals were forced to leave and were gone for decades. Um, or like the Thailand earthquake disrupted undersea life and habitats of thousands of fish and sea mammals, not to mention the people that were living there. And the lives of many people who survived this incident have been changed forever. Um, all this makes us wonder what we can do to reduce this risk. Um, so science has been improving their ability to predict these prevent to predict these events. Um, however, we aren't quite there yet. Um, if you are caught in an earthquake, you should get away from all windows, heavy objects, um, pieces of furniture, etc. And um, if you are outside, you should move to an open area away from power lines, um, buildings, trees, um, so on. Um, and with volcanic eruptions, the CDC uh, recommends that you pay close attention to local officials and be prepared because um, volcanoes erupt basically without any warning, so um, it's always good to be prepared. And both earthquakes and volcanoes show the unstoppable and predictor of power of nature. So we all must stay alert to our surroundings and be prepared at, in, to act at any time. Thank you.